Currently, that funny music is moving into the starting gate now. That leaves the last two to go in. Analyze the odds coming up to stall five. And the long shot in the field, Trance, will be last to load. And they're all in line. They're off. Play that funny music broke well. Blame the thief on the inside with some early foot. Analyze the odds alongside of Blame the Thief who comes outside of Play That Funny Music to battle for the front. Break of another three lengths more. Back to 10.29. Too hot to even speak. And the trailer is trance. So up the back stretch they go where it is Play That Funny Music in front by a neck. And Manny Franco quickly guided Blame the Thief to the outside of this front runner to sit second, a neck back. And then it's analyzed the odds, 10.29, and slipping through on their inside is too hot to even speak, who's just two lengths off the lead. Trance is the trailer through a 23.93 quarter, and they're racing for the far turn. It is Blame the Thief on the outside, poking ahead in front. Play that funny music second at the half-mile pole, the first half in 47.63 seconds. Analyze the odds is going up three wide, then 10.29. On the rail is Too Hot to Even Speak, who's under a ride here, three lengths to make up, and Trance trails the field. Blame the Thief on top, midway on the far turn from Play That Funny Music, who continues to battle on second. Analyze the odds is three wide in third, 10.29 behind them, and Too Hot to Even Speak. Three quarters, 112.19, they're into the stretch. Play That Funny Music battles on from the rail. Analyze the Odds is on the outside, and Blame the Thief has retreated to third. And now it is Analyze the Odds. Analyze the Odds, and Luis Saez pulling away to lead by three. From Play That Funny Music and Blame the Thief, it's Analyze the Odds in the opener. Won it by five links in the end over Play That Funny Music. And then it was Blame the Thief in 1029. Analyze the Odds. Picks up the sixth win of his career, 23 starts, does so at 2-1 to one on the board. And Luis Saez is uh, picking up wins in bunches after his four wins earlier in the card yesterday. He just sat in the catbird seat in the outside and proved to be much the best. And early on, all that money on the one-horse blame, the thief, was sitting outside the four, play that funny music. No punch in the lane. No, he, he was bet like they thought the race had already been run. And he ran a fairly mediocre third. I mean, the winner was just, it's not like the winner, you know, it's not like the winner was sitting, Greg, three lengths off of some rapid pace between the one and four, right? He was stalking right outside of them. He just was much the best. Five, four, one, two, eight to five favorite. Defeated here in the opener to kick off the early pick five sequence. So Luis Saez pick up Mount Victory, gets it done what could be the start of a big day for him. You know, it'll be interesting to see as Luis Saez is now in the mid mid to high 20s in his number of wins. Jose Oscano had a big advantage over these guys. Now he's still in front by almost 10 wins. Uh, actually, did he win three races yesterday, Jose? Or was that something? No, Jose Ortiz won three, I think, yesterday. Jose Oscano, we'll see if he can hold off an onslaught of top riders. Yeah, Ortiz had three. Yeah. yeah. Track conditions for this afternoon, we told you uh, already upgraded before we even ran this first race. They're brought to you by Piranha Fly Spray, the preferred fly spray of Belmont Park. Piranha on, pests gone. So we're muddy, sealed racetrack, off the turf. Five, seven, and nine were scheduled for the turf. They have all come off, remain at their original distances as you look at our race schedule. Entire card from Belmont, entire card on Twilight Racing at Churchill Downs as well. And again, we'll check in with Jonathan Kinchin, Hall of Fame jockey Gary Stevens from Louisville. Just a little bit there, fast and firm. Looking forward to some of those races at, at Churchill Downs as well, actually. Kind of some interesting races. And the fourth race uh, is a nice turf two-year-old maiden race. All right, we'll dig into that card in just a little bit. It's Analyze the Odds to start off things here on this Thursday afternoon. We'll get into the pick four coming up next, but this horse well, I didn't love that last race, but he was dropping out of that 50 claiming race open company, so you could definitely see it here. Yeah, I mean, I guess this race was sort of about class relief in his case. I mean, myself and the public thought that Blaine the Thief was the one that would take advantage of the class relief, when in fact it was analyze the odds. The yeah, and, you know, play that funny music and handle them the last couple of times they met, but not yeah, today. Not, not today, just a different situation. And, you know, I'm very big. Play the funny music one last time off the claim for Gary Gullo. It was great numbers off the claim, and he wins at 12-1. to 1. And today he's a fraction of that price, right? 
And you're a big proponent of that. Sometimes well, when, when you miss the big price, right. why it, jump on a, a very yeah. short number? 